हेलो फ्रेंड्स आवर फोर्थ एक्सपेरिमेंट इज ऑन द फोटोसिंथेसिस दैट इज इफेक्ट ऑफ सी ओ टू कॉन्सेंट्रेशन एंड द लाइट इंटेंसिटी एंड लाइट क्वालिटी ओवर द रेट ऑफ फोटोसिंथेसिस फॉर दैट वी टेक दिस विलमट बबलर्स विलमट बबलर इज वन ऑफ द एपरेटस यूज टू डिमॉन्स्ट्रेट द इवोल्यूशन ऑफ द सी ओ टू इन द फॉर्म्स ऑफ ए स्मॉल बबल्स फॉर दैट वी हैव चोजन दिस इज द हाइड्रिला दिस हाइड्रिला is the sum submerged second it is the rooted plant look here it is called as a hydrophyte okay in your hydrophyte we have studied this particular hydrilla plant already studied it so this is the ramifying branches of the hydrilla plant okay so i will take one of the branch of this hydrilla it is a submerged under the water again it is also rooted one just take the three or two twigs of this hydrilla plant like this and after taking this hydrilla plant take one beaker and take one small funnel look here insert this hydrilla twigs into the inverted funnel this is the inverted funnel here we have posted put some hydrilla twigs there now insert this hydrilla twig along with our inverted funnel into the beaker containing water so this is the beaker that contain the water so what happened here the hydrilla plant which is having a hydrophytic type of a habitat we it is a submerged one and we have submerged it into the where we have submerged it into the this small beaker okay take one test tube now fill the test tube with the water okay i have filled it with the water and with the help of your thumb just put this particular uh, test tube just inverted over the funnel over the surface of the funnel look here okay it is somewhat funnel is a larger than the shape of this particular beaker that's why it is somewhat water is supposed to be get down and that's why level is not maintained but in a typical condition this uh, Uh, test tube generally filled with the water now put this is the wilmot bubbler now put this bubbler into the sunlight okay either into the campus or either in the room with but having a light so in a light intensity what happen after 5 to 10 minutes small bubbles can be seen from the inverted surface of this wilmot's bubbler and that is the evolution of what that is the evolution of the oxygen okay co2 is absorbed there and o2 is released so the bubbles you are observing they are of the oxygen so the first experiment is to determine the uh, what is the effect of co2 concentration so for that we are using sodium bicarbonate now i will use sodium bicarbonate one by one when i will add 1 gram of the sodium bicarbonate the rate of photosynthesis will be higher after 2 gram again the rate of photosynthesis will be achieved in a 3 gram again the bubbles will be come out maybe 24 25 26 bubbles can be seen here in a one one or two minutes okay but if you add more and more sodium bicarbonate at one stage it will rate of the photosynthesis will be decreased down okay if you think that if you increase the rate of co2 uh, concentration of the co2 it doesn't mean that it will increase the photosynthesis always in a high quantity but it called as a limiting factor okay whatever a plant can eat carbon dioxide only that particular as per its ability it will be consumed by a particular plant in a second if you put it into the shade okay in a shade condition the rate of photosynthesis will be again lower down it will be 7 to 8 bubbles but if you put it into the sunlight then the rate of photosynthesis will be also higher one another one in case of light intensity we have a box like this this is the red intensity box i have to put this uh, apparatus inside the this particular red color box friends if you put it into the red color box the rate of photosynthesis will be higher if you put in a blue colored box the rate of photosynthesis will be somewhat uh, lower one and if you put it in a green color the rate of photosynthesis will be very less because the uh, the color of the chlorophyll is uh, green and the uh, sunlight which is incident over it is a reflect get get the reflect out that's why it will be not absorb hence the rate of photosynthesis will be higher in a red color 
in a blue color it will be less in a green as well as yellow color so friends in a higher concentration of sodium bicarbonate the rate of concentration will be higher if it is moderate but if you increase the level of the sodium bicarbonate it will be the lower one this is called as a limiting factors limiting factor it is the blackmans law of limiting factor when a process is conditioned by a different types of the factors then the photosynthetic process will be controlled by the pace of the slowest factor this is for the uh, for photosynthetic experiment question may be asked like what is photosynthesis what is the effect of uh, so sodium bicarbonate on the rate of photosynthesis or light intensity on the sodium uh, light intensity on the photosynthesis such questions will be asked in your practical examinations thank you